Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Divine Irony from Ghost in the Year here on my Let Us Play Shaman who has Noggin Fog Elixir on and looks like a uh, like a skeleton. What we're doing now is we're doing the rest of the Incendosaurus, Whateverosaurus is more like it quest, which means we have to kill uh, 20 Incendosaurs. We've already killed 17, we only need to kill uh, 3 more. And considering there's two more up here, we're going to kill one here and then go back because there isn't enough here uh, to fight our way out. So we're going to go back here, pull one, where is he? There we go. We pull one and we're going to leave the cave here and... <coughs> sorry, I sneezed. Yeah, sorry guys. Um, what we're going to do now, considering we've completed or we've killed all the incendosaurs, we're going to do the last quest... Um, available in the area now which is the set them ablaze quest given to us uh, by that uh, black guy with the uh, one-handed rogue sword so we're gonna go down here down through the um, down above the cauldron to go to the first watchtower now just to note guys if you're using the torture retribution you actually need to equip it yes yeah, seriously you need to equip it in order to use it uh, on the mob so make sure that you two have a button ready to um, quickly um loot to quickly um equip your weapons again because um the torch retribution does zero damage seriously yep yeah, whenever you use it um mobs are actually immune uh to attacks so uh so if you use it on any mob they're just immune uh it doesn't even count as an armed experience it's just immune so you can't even level an armed that way so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go we kill we s set uh the Eastern Tower players, and we need to set the Southern Tower players, which is what we're going to be doing now. And we're just going to be doing them for all the zones. So we've set it to Southern Tower now, and we're going to be going on. Our, we're going to be um, equipping our maces now, and then uh, going on our Elec. And uh, for some reason, we went to that random guy there to repair because there was a random guy there for repairing. We're pulling this heavy war golem now, who was in the way. And we're going to be destroying the. We're going to set the Western Tower Blaze, which is what we're going to be doing now. So we need to, we need to, we need to kill that lookout. We've done the uh, Western Tower now. We have not uh, got rid of our Torch of Retribution because I've noticed that all the mobs were killed around that watchtower. And we're going to hand in the quest to this guy here. Now, this is what happens when you do when you do. You've been helping a black dragon flight the entire time. Yep. You've been a traitor to your race. You've been helping a black dragon flight achieve its ends. Once you've um, once you complete the quest, he'll give you a nice trinket package, uh, which gives you a f couple of nice items. None of them that useful anymore, though, because we're um, because they we're level eight. Where well, the, the, the max level now is level eighty, and this stuff isn't that rare anymore. We got a nice axe, which is better than our mace, so we equip that. We hand we're handing in uh, the two. We handed in that quest to um, the Foreign Brotherhood guy. We've leveled to level uh, 53 now. We put another point in Mental Quickness, uh, which gives us an extra 6% um, reduced mana cost um, for, for, our, um, for our instant cast spells. We've gone back to Ironforge now to buy some a few more items, because some of my items are getting out of date. And we're going to hand in the Rise Obsidian quest, to this guy here in Ironforge and that's the last quest we're going to be doing in regard to the Searing Gorge so yes all Searing Gorge quests were done in one video and four minutes which is quite good well well, well one video, vid, mid, uh, video and a half so we've flown to the Menifil Harbour now and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the uh, Baradin Bay we're going to wait for the boat to come the boat's left now we're back uh, at Faramore and we're going to fly to uh, Tanneris to go across Tanneris. No, we're not going to be doing any Tanneris quests, even though I ran back here for some reason because I had noticed the quest. It does nothing to do with Angoro Crater, which is the place we're going next to uh, do our leveling zone. So what we're going to be doing now is going across Tanneris, the sands of Tanneris, down into the Angoro Crater, which is a dinosaur haven uh, of Azeroth where it is frozen in time. 
So, and we're going to be in Angora Crater for the next few videos because Angora Crater is an awesome place to level at around the 52 uh, to 54 bracket range. Yes, you can come here at 51, 50, but I reckon it's much better to come at a slightly higher level than this uh, just because the mobs uh, can be a bit tricky if you're lower level than uh, 50. So we're just going to be, we're coming here now just to power through the quest again. As you notice now I'm just trying to power my way through. And I think the rest of the questing zones we're going to be doing, besides a slight um, amount of time we're going to be in the western playgrounds, the rest of the levelling zones we're going to be doing in Kalimdor. So yes, for almost our entire levelling process, uh, we ignored uh, Kalimdor and for the higher levelling process we're ignoring the eastern kingdoms. Uh, we're meeting this friendly um, Tauron here because he gives us two new quests. I'm not sure if this is a new um, uh, if this is a new uh, thing because I don't remember that uh, that friendly Tauron being there uh, when I was leveling my uh, dwarf. So I'm not sure if that's a new stuff thing to happen. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, we just picked up a quest uh, from that uh, destroyed boat there. Uh, we get we picked up that quest because um, we can we're going to um, the flight path anyway, and we can hand in a, um, a quest to the guy who owns all the items from that boat uh, while we go there anyway. So what we go where we're going is we're going to Marshall's Refuge, which is the only flight path in uh, the Angora Crater. And we're just picking up some crystals all over the floor uh, because these are for another quest that we have to do in Angora. Uh, later, which I will not be talking about now because we won't be doing this immediately. Yep, uh, the reason we're fighting a Petorodax now is because I ran up, uh, I ran up this uh, this path here, but it was not the path um, for the Marshall's Refuge flight path. Um, I just got went up to a Petorodax den. So we're at the, so we're at the Gara Crater now, and what we're going to be doing is picking up all the quests in the area. Uh, there's quite a lot of quests in the area for um, the Angora Crater. This is the guy who, about the boat I was talking about. He wants us to talk to a guy and went to a dwarf in Winter Spring, which we will be doing, uh, but not for I think about eight more videos. You won't you won't see it for quite a long time actually. So uh, I'll note uh, when the quest continues. Even though we will not be completing the quest uh, because it's a very long quest chain. If you know what the question is, it's about Lincoln which is an obvious reference to Link, as in Ocarina of Time Link for the N64, and you get a trinket called Link's Boomerang for completing the quest chain. But unfortunately we won't be doing it because it's a waste of time uh, and it doesn't, it's not a very good experience. Now the guy in, now the little gnome inside that, um, the little gnome inside that cave wanted us to collect um, the crystals all around the area. We need to collect seven of each crystal and we will be doing that as we do other quests. Now the dwarf outside the Marshall's Refuge, uh, before you actually go up to the flight path area, um, asks us to kill um, no ac actually no ask asks us to find uh, a mechanical gorilla which is stuck inside um, inside this gorilla cave in the north of Angoro and we're doing this quest in with the with, um, in, conjunc in conjunction with a quest given to us by that friendly Tauren at the entrance of Angoro which wants us to get uh, two Angoro stomper pel uh, pelts two Angoro thunder, rep thunder, uh, thunder pets and two Angoro gorilla pelts now these pelts uh, are high drop rate from all mobs um, so you will get them quite quickly as you kill uh, gorillas in the area and it gives quite a nice amount of experience just killing the gorillas and we will be completing this quest actually very soon now we fight our way inside the uh, cave Th this is where he is, uh, the uh, the mechanical thing is stuck with an Angora Thunderer who's sleeping right next to her uh, we complete that quest now, we got 5k experience uh, we do need however for a continuation of the quest a mithril casing which of course costs money to buy from an auction house which I'm not prepared to pay so we will not be continuing uh, this quest uh, even because the quest uh, even if you get the mithril casing it is actually an escort quest so we will not be doing that quest now uh, this, is the, this is going to be the end of the video guys so thanks for watching guys I ho really hope you liked the video and I hope to see you in part um, 61 I think yes we're going to be doing part 61 next